difficult was it for you to not be playing in those final three games? Well, yeah, obviously it's it wasn't easy. Um, I mean, I think that goes without saying. You know, when when you're uh, you're a starter and you're a competitor and you want to play and and you want to help the team, um, that is not something that that's easy to take. But at the same time, you know, uh, like I told you guys, um, you know, I didn't want to put myself ahead of the team. I think uh, uh, Corey was in a spot where he had earned it. I think he played extremely well, uh, not only this year but last year as well. And um, you know. I wanted to win just as bad, uh, whether I was in or not. So now the page has turned from, from this season and now going forward, could you see yourself uh, being happy in a position where you had to split time or potentially not be the clear number one starter? Is that what you, want? Uh, you know what? I think, like I, like I mentioned, I think uh, it's going to be what, what's best for the team. You know, um, whatever scenario that is, I'm okay with it. Um, you know, wh whether that involves me being here or not is, is, is okay. Um, you know, I think um, we got a lot of potential in this locker room. There's a, there's a great core of guys and a chance to do something special. So um, we're going to, you know, talk again uh, with Mike here in the next a little while and uh, we'll, uh, we'll drop a plan. If what's best for the team is moving you, you'd be okay with that? Yeah, I mean, um, like I said, uh, I've always been about the team first and um, you know, obviously they got a guy here that uh, is going to be a superstar in this league for um, the next 10, 12, 15 years. So, you know, I'm okay with that as well. I mean, um, it is a business and that's the way it goes. And um, I love being here the last six years. I think it, uh, uh, my career has really uh, taken off um, and did some incredible things. And, you know, uh, if I'm here in the future, then great. Uh, if I'm not, that's good also. Would you prefer to stay or would you prefer to go? I prefer to, you know, uh, do what's best for the team. I think, um, you know, uh, ultimately, uh, even though I have no trade, it, it, it is not my decision. Um, but, um, you know, it, it's a very unique uh, circumstance, I think, that we're in, uh, where we got an elite, uh, you know, young guy that's it's up and coming that's uh you know probably gonna dominate the league for many years so you know i'm not sure what i would do if i was gm as well so wherever it is you never know what happens in the future how emotional a day how emotional a day is this for you given that you never know what's happening in the future well i mean you're you always never know i mean things change quickly you know uh, i've learned that uh, you know over the course of my career things always change um you just got to go with it i think take day by day and and the main thing, and I've always said it, you know, whether it's with anything, you don't want to look too far ahead because um, life's got a lot of curveballs, and you want to make sure that uh, you don't look too far ahead. Robert, are you willing to waive your no trade? Uh, yeah, of course, if you ask me to. I mean, um, I don't want to be uh, one of those guys that's going to stand in the way of, of anything. I mean, um, I always want to put the team ahead of me first, and I don't want to be uh, one of those selfish guys. and. Um, like I said, there, there hasn't been any decisions made, but uh, you know, over the course of the next little while, we talk about Mike and we'll, we'll make that decision.